I'm Maury White. I'm Bob Nelson. I'm Tracy White. <laughs> I'm Pastor Johnny Leckie, and this is the Compass Conversation Podcast. Woo! Yes, it is. Welcome, uh-huh. welcome, welcome. Uh-huh. welcome. Let's get this thing uh-huh. rocking and rolling. We will follow you. Look at that. We're back already. Oh, no. It, no. <laughs> no, you can't have our beverages. No. Tracy. I mean, uh, wait, what? I'm talking to you. <laughs> Look at you. It's like twice. I don't know. Three times. Maury. Tracy. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Yeah, that's me. Good evening. Coming home. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to our program. <laughs> This oh, is not wait, the Halloween stop. edition. I didn't realize we were supposed to go fast today. Stop rushing into this. Oh, come on. <laughs> Puns are fine. <laughs> Obscure, hard to catch puns, not so good. All right. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Yesterday's uh, uh, question was fun as well. So oh, yeah, once once we you know hit the internet, and started. Uh, <laughs> it was great. Oh yeah, Welcome that was up. weird too. So yeah. we did the welcome question for those of you who are asking on Sunday, and it was yeah funny, clean pickup lines, but there was a. Pause. It was a gap with uh, Leona's phone or something. So oh, it was yeah, like it, it yeah. seemed it like picking up. Any yeah, no, answers. we're not playing. I mean, it was nobody. Uh, no responses. We're like, what's going on? <laughs> Did we yeah, offend anyone? Weird. Is this right? <laughs> Why is no one answering? <laughs> and then we saw that they were. Yeah, Julie's like, there's answers. <laughs> there's four <laughs> five. <laughs> oh, I, 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 after service, I noticed that Kathy had texted me that there was oh, answers, yeah. but my phone was silenced, so I didn't, I didn't pick up on that either. Well, the so, only reason so. she caught it was because Melissa texted her. Mm-hmm. Said, uh, there were people answering. Yeah. Oh, that's well, was great. They were all good. They were all very good. <laughs> all very good. I have. I was gonna try. I've been reading the Song of Solomon. Uh, the uh, just coincidentally, since it's the fifth Valentine. Oh, that, that's not family friendly. Definitely parts of it that are not. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and uh, um, but anyway, I've been reading that because I, I when I wake up, I read a chapter a day. You know, just to start off trying to get things on the right foot. And I'll be honest, Solomon, Song of Solomon is not a good way to go with that because there's not a lot of theological meat right there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but my pickup line was going to be something along the lines of trying to figure out how to do a uh, um, something Song of Solomon. Wow, your teeth are all like shorn sheep after a bath. And they have twins. Your hair, on a date. <laughs> your hair is like a flock of goats. That just all the way down your neck is like the Tower, tower. of Lebanon. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Pointing to the your, your nose. Is <laughs> your nose. Yeah, we'll stop the there. Tower Lebanon, that's that's yeah. We're stopping. The tower <laughs> is like the, uh, the shields. Uh, it's yeah. like the wall. Uh, uh, <laughs> surrounded by a wall of shields. I'm hey, like, it would oh, be fun to get through. <laughs> hey, Game maybe back then it was. You know. Well, the idea was there actually is something to that. We're talking about Song of Solomon on the podcast. We haven't even been talking about Song of Solomon. <laughs> wow. But anyway, yeah, some of those things at the time, there was some real beauty in even like the Tower of oh, yeah. Lebanon. Or oh, yeah. the, yeah. Sh- the they would have the shields on the wall, and uh, the sun, when it would hit, it was like mm. sparkle, and it was a right. beautiful thing. So to say it was, sounds weird to us. Yeah. But they but, got it. But even the, she was they, all, she was kind of like, yeah. oh, Solomon. <laughs> even, wait, wait, no, wait, that's not. Can right. we? The, can we hear the, <laughs> even the teeth like wait. sheep, and each one has a twin. Is it? <laughs> yeah. It's like, you got. You got. Your kids are gonna have such pretty teeth, and they won't need the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, brilliant poetry. Thank you. Yeah. All right, well, let's move on. Okay. <laughs> the O Solomon, I'm going to cut that little piece up and make that my <laughs> ringtone. <laughs> yeah. You say the darndest thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Okay. That grill was let's like go. a 57 Chevy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hey, you guys are getting some great lines. Everybody go home and tell your wives. <laughs> your oh, your my grill goodness. is like a 57. <laughs> like a 57. Ooh, okay. Maury White, how are you doing, man? You're still looking better and better every day. You've uh, shaved you. this. this, I, I, this I, good, you're, I, you I did, good. you know. Uh, my team, uh, 
my work team is meeting here tomorrow. Ooh. So I thought, huh, it'd probably be a good idea to shave. <laughs> to kind so, of clean things up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So that's what I did. Uh, awesome. Kind of in a bad mood, and I don't know why. Probably because of the cold. Oh, uh, you have a cold? Yeah. No. No, because it's oh, the cold. cold outside. <laughs> It's cold outside. But it's sunny <laughs> outside. It's been Johnny, sunny. Johnny, it's cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> but the sun comes out, and that changes everything. Oh, yeah, but I'm in a basement. So oh, that's right. I was cold all day. We can talk some more about Song of Solomon if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Cheer you up. <laughs> Make you laugh. I'm not going to go where the fawns go. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, man, I'm sorry you're here. You're the best. See? It's already helping. It's already worked. It's the Bible. And that's red. It's that color. It's the Bible. I'm telling you, it's all in the Bible. Everything's there, man. So I had a really interesting conversation, and, and I'm uh, going to mention it on the podcast, yeah. cast, although I mentioned it earlier, and uh, that with my grandmother, who is 103 years old, uh, yesterday, uh, she called me, which was amazing. Um she is still sharp as a tiger. Wow. Yeah. And uh, it's it's just amazing. It, it You don't have to speak up on the phone. She can hear you. Wow. It's just... Because it's, awesome. it's really loud. <laughs> <laughs> she got to turn way up. So yeah, she, so, sorry, yeah. could you hear that? <laughs> what? 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 Oh. Wait, let me turn up my ear. <laughs> <laughs> what she tell you? But she told you something. Oh, she did tell me something. She said uh, we were talking about crazy things going on in the world, and and uh, she said, you know, I think that we are like the Israelites, and God's trying to get our attention. Hmm. People just need to start listening, hmm. and that's hmm. what she said. And well, I, I agree with it. And uh, yeah, she's a very good, godly woman. Uh, I need to tell her to watch this podcast because yeah. she gets a shout out. Woo! Mama June, Mama June, welcome, Mama June. So, All right, awesome. I thought that was amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks for and, sharing. And that. very wise uh, assessment of what's going on. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> agree. <laughs> we agree. We're with well, you. Likewise. Bob, likewise. Well, you don't disagree with a hundred three year old. That's right. right. You don't. There's so much wisdom there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Bob Nelson, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Uh, it was President's Day, so I had the day off. And yeah. I did was working on just stuff. It was kind of nice just laying back this weekend and uh, getting some reading done. That was really good. Uh, um, finally getting back into the reading mode after uh, after all the reading you had off, to do. Month off uh, the seminary and everything. But, uh, but yeah, and then uh, we got good news about bonuses on Friday. So I mean, really good news. So it's uh, cool. Yeah, but we were Yay. worried about that pretty bad working for a finance company and <laughs> last year, but things turned around quite a bit. And um, yeah, I. There ain't no way I can complain. Excellent. Yeah, anyway, so the, uh, um, yeah, and then I've got the ordination council coming up. I'm excited about that. So mm-hmm. it'll be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be great. So. Yeah. Tracy White, how are you, sir? Feeling blessed. Yeah. Uh, All right, let's move on. No, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were so fun, you were such finality. You With the exception <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> of the cold. Oh yes. The cold. I do not like the cold. So Tracy, never have, never let us like know. Why do you not like okay. the cold? So, <laughs> yeah, so what, I was sitting there, th- you know, because people are like, "Well, you can layer." Na, na, na. I'm like, no, yeah. and now, right? Especially against the cold that we've been having. Here's what it is: if it's 120 degrees outside, my hands don't hurt. <laughs> if it's they 20 melt. degrees outside, <laughs> my <laughs> hands physically hurt oh, yes. right when they're cold mm-hmm. and then it takes you can't just go inside somewhere warm and it's like oh hey that's so much better hmm. no it takes so long yeah. to, my hands are still cold maybe you have a circulation problem maybe so but i feel <laughs> so worked up right now about this i shouldn't have it gets you it gets your ire i shouldn't oh. have a, a, a circulation problem but no seriously that's probably the thing uh, my face hurts whenever it's really cold but my hands are i mean they like really hurt. Well, in fairness, and it takes so it, long. It's warm been up. crazy cold. That it has eight below, you know, nine stuff. below. Last night, I think it got to nine below. I heard That's something cold. interesting last night. What was it? <laughs> this week or <laughs> yesterday, specifically, they were talking about it was colder in Colorado than it was on the surface of Mars. <laughs> wow. 
Isn't Mars closer to the sun anyway? <laughs> no, it's way farther. It's further. Oh, it's farther. Yeah, yeah. it's the other way. Uh -huh. It's number four. It's the yeah. fourth. Oh, four. that's right. Or the third of, rock uh, from the sun. That one's the fourth. I'm thinking of Venus. I just I still <clears> want so, to feel alone. Even with these on, my hands still. Anyway, yeah. Okay. Uh, but, but but that was that was it. But, Outside of that, life is grand. Uh, you know, outside the just the normal things that we put up with on a daily basis. I also agree with Mama June about uh, we, you know the world needs to listen. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and I really uh, hope uh, that that there's a, an awakening to that. Um, you know, sooner than later. So I hope so too, man. Well, Johnny, how about you? Will these still work? <laughs> no. Here, let me help you. Out. There we go. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. So this has been this has been a pretty good day. I mean, I um, got up early. I met with some a couple of other church planters. which I don't get to do that much anymore. Mm -hmm. I used to do meet with these guys every month, once a month, talk shop, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hadn't seen them in months and months. So today I was able to do that because I had the day, the uh, President's Day. I saw what not the school. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was great. It was it was just good to see them catch up on some things. Days going on, um, <clears throat> you know. You're speaking of the cold. I like the cold, <laughs> and I've told you why. Because you're crazy, and we knew that. <laughs> well, but we love you anyway. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna move. <laughs> He's feeling witty today. <laughs> Why is my hair standing up? <laughs> I feel some electricity. No, because in Texas, and, I, and again, I grew up in Louisiana. Yeah. And, you know, triple digits for weeks on end mm -hmm. in temperature is, you know, it always happens. I know this is not like when you were overseas and stuff. But it's like my whole life. The elementary school I went to didn't have air conditioning. Right, that so sounds like uh, fatal. <laughs> well, you would think. <laughs> you watch it, Jim. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hit you with my I don't our school. <laughs> if I don't make fun of you, one of these no, two no, is no, going to no, happen. No, it's, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But here's what happened before we moved to Colorado. <clears throat> I think I've told you guys this, but before we moved to Colorado, our air conditioning went out at our house, mm. and uh, I couldn't get it fixed. And it was in the middle of summer. No kidding, 110, 115. We were like raising windows, it wasn't enough. Couldn't get it fixed fast enough. And so there were several days of having to sleep. Oh. <laughs> and <clears throat> it was horrible. And it was humid, right? And it was humid, <laughs> and it was sort of that, that kind of blistering Texas. It has to happen at least once on every podcast. <laughs> that blistering uh, Texas heat. It always happens at the perfect time, yeah. except for this, this one, I guess. Well, anyhow, when I moved to Colorado, I mean, I'm still, I'm still cooling off. <laughs> <laughs> no. My inner core uh, is, is, is still radiating like a nuclear Texas. energy, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just cooling off, man. Oh, <laughs> so, goodness. so I, I don't mind it. When it gets above sixty degrees here, I'm like, why is it getting so hot, right? What? <laughs> right? I'm like, I came to to cooler temps. So yeah, so I spent my whole life. Just sweating, hot, mm. hot, 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 hot. So I don't mind the cool. And also, the cool in Texas, I mean, in Colorado, it's not going to last. Oh, I, I It's know. not going to be around. No. So, so back the year yeah. I graduated from high school, we did two weeks straight of no highs above zero degrees. Oh, yeah. That is good. Cool. Nope. Yeah. Nope. 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 But, you know, my wife's from Alaska. She, you know, she spent all that time in Texas, you know, with me. And then she started getting a lot of headaches and stuff from heat where she couldn't even hardly go outside in the summertime. And yep. So I just appreciate it for what it is. It's like one man's trash, another's treasure. One man's, <laughs> one man's cold, another man's refreshing. Right. Cool. right, right. <laughs> so anyway. But, yeah. But what happened with this cool is that my... Uh, this may be technical, but, but the, um, there's only one place in this old house that we're living in where if you don't wrap the pipe, it freezes, Ooh. and it's the kitchen sink. <clears throat> oh, So it's like it's not connected to anything else. All the other pipes, all the water, everything's great. Wow. But I went to bed and forgot oh, on no. Saturday. I think it was Saturday. It was like it was too late. It's like, oh, it's already done. But this has happened before. So we've gone like a couple of days without any 
kitchen, kitchen water. Water. Yeah. So yeah, the dishes were starting to pile up. Oh. I, was like, you know, I was like, I'm about to throw all these in the bathtub. And <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this afternoon she actually had started to do some version of that, but uh, but it got to you know a balmy. 29 or 30 today. Was that 23? Is it? Was <laughs> sun was out. I thought I'm going to give it a try because what I have done <laughs> is I, I, there's a space heater that I can set outside. For mm. it. So it's not going to heat it up too fast where it's going right. to crack the pipes or something. Yeah. But I tried it on Sunday. It was just like pointless. No. It was yeah. like, it, way too cold. You couldn't feel the heat from the space heater this far away from <laughs> it outside. I believe it. But, uh, but today, we did, and it, and it all came back, and everything's oh, fine. Good. So, you wrap it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually wrapped it uh, as soon as I recovered. Oh, well, at least maybe it won't get any worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally frozen. Maybe it won't get any worse. <laughs> maybe it'll feel warmer. <laughs> but the thing is, it, it was not that like eight below stuff. It yeah. was only it had just gotten down to like one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know that kind of ties into your sermon. There's knowing. <laughs> That's exactly right. And there's and doing. Yes. I know I should have read the pipe, but I didn't. But, I did. but then you finally did. <laughs> Suffered yeah. the consequence. That's right. You are now an ordained pipe wrapper. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, it's just it was like I know it's going to get even colder. <laughs> So uh, if this much turned made it freeze, you know, at least I'm going to have it out there. <laughs> so maybe it won't get any worse. Colder? Because it got colder after that. Oh, oh okay. I'm just not. Okay. I wrapped it before it got to nine below. <laughs> you, panic, you panicked him. He's like, I don't know. oh, it's coming up warm. It's no. coming worse. No, no, it's warming up this week. Uh, it is. A little warm. Up. 30s, 40s. Mm-hmm. 50s, 50s, by the weekend. Mm-hmm. 50s by the weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is good. Yeah. We had, we were actually not going to be here. Joy and I were supposed to be up in the Gaylord at the Rockies doing a get-a-stay. That's my new word instead of a getaway. Ah, get a stay. <laughs> get a stay. <laughs> I, go, I like it. But we canceled because it's like there's no – we got their Winterfest tickets, which was like mm-hmm. snow tubing and uh, oh, um, nice. uh, ice uh, bumper cars. Mm-hmm. And the, the, it's like that would be great, but I'm not going to do it when it's like two degrees out. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. cool. So yeah. we mm-hmm. just scheduled it for the end of the, the month instead. Dead, so well, that sounds it. like a blast. It does sound like fun, though. I'll let, I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, let me know. Very Thank cool. Because then we'll have to go do it. Well, we spent a lot of time talking about the weather. <clears throat> Riveting podcast topic. <laughs> we, about the we did talk a little about the sermon. <laughs> that's true. <rude>. Annoying and doing. <laughs> yeah, Corey tried to, to segue in there, but no, no. We can let's say let's keep our segging on its way. Let's <laughs> <go>. <laughs> <laughs> talk about that. Knowing yeah, let's talk it. about yesterday. Knowing and doing. Knowing, knowing. Knowing, knowing, knowing. knowing, knowing. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have both. Good I was, balance. I was drawing pictures on Sunday. You did draw pictures. They were you did. A big target I'm actually a with better an artist. arrow. I was, I was like, what in the world is <laughs> Yeah, but it was like drawing? an egg but target. He, yeah, but he finally put <laughs> also the, targets. <laughs> the arrow I was having a hard time with until you put the little feathers Oh, on. that really made that it clear, really, didn't yeah, it? it that, did. that really <laughs> enhanced the uh, drawing. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looked like a rocket. It looked horrible. <laughs> It's like the worst drawing I've ever done. Yeah, it was great. Uh, it was fantastic. It's a good illustration. Yeah. It was. It's yeah. On target. Was there anything about yesterday? You guys, I know that you've heard a lot of these these concepts, obviously, before. Mm-hmm. But uh, what, uh, what about yesterday? It goes into entirely what your grandma was saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, we need to listen. And, We're not and, listening. Um, and one of your major, major points was the uh, there are people that out there that haven't done what God told them to do the last time. Oh, so, right. A long yeah. time ago. And uh, I was thinking about this. the uh, um, Years ago, a friend of mine uh, at our old church that was telling me a couple of stories. And the uh, um, that one, was a, one was a joke, one was a story. Well, not really a joke. I found a <laughs> profound point. Uh, and it's, uh, the, is there enough evidence out there to convict you of being a Christian? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like... So that huh? hurts. Yeah. Mm. And then the next one hurt. was the uh, you know back in the day they used to have an, uh, the evangelists go around and do you know revivals, tent revivals and stuff. And this guy was out there and he was doing his revival. And the first night he preached on John three sixteen. So I know you love. Hey, this one. John, yeah. which is can I, what is that? Yes. What is John? 3:16? What is John three sixteen? Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life with him. That's his goal. Yes. For you to have eternal life with him. Uh, that's big. powerful, man. Yeah, it is. Sorry. And that's what the guy preached on. And then 
everybody's like, wow, this is amazing. And they were all moved and everything, and then they went home. And they came back the next night, because this was a week-long thing, right? And they came back the next night, and he preaches on John 3.16 again, which is? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life with him. Absolutely. This works really well for my story. Okay, and then on Wednesday, he comes back, and he preaches on John 3.16 again, which, which is? is for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life with him. Thank you, and so, so and this guy gets enough guts up to go up to the evangelist and say, says, these are great sermons, but why do you keep on preaching on the same thing? And the, the evangelist looks at him and says, when are you going to actually do something about what I've talked about? Oh, oh, I will change my message when you start doing what I told you last week. Uh, Whatever that is. Love it. <laughs> it's really love cool. it. And it's a really important part, you know. There are so yeah. many times, there's so many repetitive things within the Bible, not in a bad way, but in a point that it's important to God to repeat it several <clears> times. <throat> so we should probably pay attention to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God's love is in there a lot. Mm -hmm. yep. And how big it is, and how we are to demonstrate that. Yep. And duplicate that. Absolutely. Although we'll never duplicate it like He does it. But, uh, <laughs> Well, it is, um, you know, it is one of those things that I, I never want it to become a thing that we talk about that we've gotten, is we're glossing over it, you know? Right. It's like, ah, yeah, we know that. We know that. We know. <laughs> right. But are we still doing Are we doing that? And that's the big thing. Because knowing, while knowing is good, knowledge puffs, puffs up. up. <laughs> yes, it does. I'm going to puff <laughs> Soul. All right, all together now. We're going to puff you up. Oh no! No, we're going to that we up. had some knowledge. So, <laughs> if we had some knowledge, so, <laughs> which, which is to say we that we don't have our own. That yeah, no, knowledge <laughs> in and of its own, uh, it, it, by itself, it doesn't really do much for you, except make you proud of yourself, and that's yeah. really not a good thing. So mm -hmm. yeah, knowledge pops up. So. The rest yeah, of you got to take some of that energy behind that and, and do the do. The yeah, rest the, of that verse. The rest of the verse is, but love builds up. But love builds up. Yep. Yeah. It, it, it's, uh, I was thinking about, you know, our, our, we're trying to become more Christ like, right? And God so loved the world that he did that. And, our, and then Jesus says that, you know, first we got to love God. And if you love God, you know that he did that for you. So therefore, you want to do that for others, which was the second command mm -hmm. to, to love everybody else. And if you're wanting the same thing that God wants for you, if you're wanting that for somebody else, you have no choice mm -hmm. but to take that action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That in in order to demonstrate that love there is an action. So love becomes an action word. Ooh. I like Lord. that. Gold star for you tonight. All right. <laughs> Bounty uh, points. Quoting quote, quote, quote <laughs> verses three and four times in the house. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hitting some powerful points. And then yeah. making love a verb. <laughs> making love a verb. That's right. And it is. Well, it is. It, it, it is. definitely it is. is. I mean, how, action word. Action well, word. sure, but, how, you know, growing up, and you know, we were taught love is not a, a feeling. No. It's a right. decision. It is. It, it, it is a very proactive thing that you do, um, but yeah, it so, is something you do without it's a doubt. Something you. I can tell you, there are times. It's something you feel. I can tell you, my brother loves me, and mm -hmm. I have no question, unconditionally, he loves me. Yeah. But there are times where he doesn't feel so fluffy. That's about me. That <laughs> fluffy. More so in the past. More so in the past <laughs> than the current. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Way more so in the past. We had we've had we've some, had some good times. Ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Family be hard. Family be hard. Family. You know what? Until I, you get it. You know, <laughs> family linguistic. has some hard times, but mm. family ing is not hard. <laughs> That's a verb. <laughs> I like it. Because we're we, making all kinds. Because of we love this good stuff. Because <laughs> <Family, laughs> we love each other. Busy yeah, family ing. <laughs> That's why I'm an English major. You can make a word out of anything. You can. Yeah. And you can make a, anything into verb. Anything. Yeah. You can verb anything. 
What's the old Steve? I'm not even. A, I'm not even That's an English awesome. minor. I'm more of an English <laughs> pony league. <laughs> T-ball. T-ball. Steve Martin used to say, "Some people have a way with words. Other people, not have way." <laughs> Oh, that's, hey, that's pretty good. I like that. I like that. <laughs> okay, back to what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but like Maury said in in the, our our journey to to be more like Christ, you know, our, our journey in Christ likeness, uh, and he Jesus demonstrated uh, time and time again his knowledge, yeah, and his through his action. Mm-hmm. So he yes. was always, you yeah. know. Uh, everything was backed up. <laughs> yep. Yeah, exactly. So. Well, it's a, it's a heart change that results in in a new way of living and thinking and everything. And uh, sometimes you don't uh, you, you you don't see all of the effects of that heart change immediately. Mm-hmm. You see some, but then you begin to realize you're a different person as you place your faith in Christ. And and really, it's it's kind of amazing the way the New Testament. Focuses towards Christ likeness rather than do all these things, right? Right. <laughs> know all these things. Instead, it points us to the one who we're grabbing both of those mm. as we go, mm, yeah. and till we're in a sprint to the finish line because we are just passionate about who He is and what He's done for us, yeah. and that changes everything, right? I mean, that takes yeah. the burden away. It takes the uh, the religion of uh, the, the legalese weights right. that are there, right. and uh, we serve and we love and all of those things, not because we're trying to muster it up. It doesn't mean it's easy, though, right. but it's coming from something that's new in us. Mm-hmm. And so if somebody doesn't have that, you don't have any love in your heart for people, we've talked about that before. I mean, there's something wrong already with right. your spiritual relationship with God. You've either put a wall between you and Him, uh, and that is expressing itself in the fact that you can't seem to love anybody. Yeah, <laughs> you need to you know pursue him and then experience and know. Well, it's like um, you know Paul says to, uh, "I pray that you would experience God's love and know yeah. that how rich it is, how deep it is, how full it is, and all of those things." Although you will never fully understand it, right? And and it's because as we dive into that, it changes us, right? And it changes how we see others and what we do but all that to say i did want to quote myself from yesterday okay all right quote yourself uh, <laughs> say something profound now say something not so <laughs> well, it's uh to to notice and be aware that it isn't um oh man now i've forgotten it. Oh! <laughs> oh! you want me to look that up on facebook it's about the don'ts what did i say it's about it's about don'ting don'ting Don't it's don't about doing not don'ting not don't <laughs> It's not about what we can't do. It's right, a, right. That's yeah, exactly yeah. right. It's about what that's you exactly right. should do or want to do. And that's kind of the, one of the points was it's the, the doing uh, be, be, because the don'ting is like uh, thou shalt not all of this stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And, and the doing is stuff that you get to do, you want to do mm-hmm. because you have that love in your heart. I, I can tell you, and it is, it is about, you were talking about... Uh, you still making shall a decision. not right. kill people <laughs> that's and stuff not, like yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> because if you love them, you don't want to kill them. Right. Or any of the other stuff, which is yeah. why when Jesus right. said, love God, love people, it, yeah. he it, like summed up all of the... Everything. Yeah, yeah all, all of the, the law. Yeah. But I, I, I got to say, you know, and you, you talked about love being a decision, and there are times Johnny preaches on Sundays, and you will... Oh. Preach on Sundays, what? And uh, all those kind of things. Not because he always feels like it. Yeah. Because I guarantee you, there are mornings when you don't want to get up. That's true. Yeah. But you do it anyway because you love us enough. It's very yeah. true. To get up and make that decision, to go out and do that, uh, to to feed us God's word, which is. That's kind of a and even weird Sunday, way to say, but that you know, is, it was right. getting out of bed and getting out it, into the yeah. negative and night negative, and yeah, yeah, negative. Whatever. yeah, it was horrible. You brain, know, that's something that's, the car would start. <laughs> the car would start. <laughs> that's something that, that's really cool about you two, and you know, uh, in ministry, and then you know, I know your uh, path is is you know leading that way. Is that that is something that you don't do 
for you. you right. know? Oh, yeah. I mean, that, the whole purpose of that is, you know, to serve God right. and, uh, and love, you know, other people. You do it for other people. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, those of us that are believers and the non-believers, you know, yeah. and that's kind of a, a nice, un, a, it's a beautiful, unconditional kind of unspoken love that you guys have in your ministry, mm-hmm. uh, uh, the path of your ministry that you do <clears throat> for other people, no matter who they are. You, By the way, we're want thankful to for them, that. So, yeah. yeah. Very, 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 very kind words. Oh, very, very blessed for having you. <clears throat> Uh, well, that's very kind of you to say. And of course, all of us um, have a ministry as well. Oh yeah, now we're mm-hmm. you know we're set also apart sure. in different ways. Sure. But um, but yeah, no, that's very nice of you to say. I mean, well, so we wrap it up with that. <clears throat> oh, that was so nice. We're going to end it there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I do want to say, were you yeah, going to say something me. about that? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, what? well, they, thinking about the, your comments on that, when people are, when pastors and preachers are getting too big for their britches mm. and stuff and start going, you know, I need you guys to pray for so I can get this new jet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my old jet's breaking down. Yeah, you know, yeah my, jet, my jet is having so much you know, We need to go from props <laughs> to, to jet. jet. It's a, a different kind of the heart problem. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I agree. That, um, you know, because you, you are not... There's yeah. There's just a lot of issues with that of the uh, in so many ways, and you're not you're not look, seeking the benefit that you're supposed to. The uh, um, the benefit from ministry is to reach other people, to learn how to love them, to feel the love of God going through you to them, yeah. and basically fulfilling those two commandments that you brought up: the yeah. love people, love God. So yeah. say uh, well, you know, on the unfortunate side, there are. Preachers like that. Mm-hmm. You know, that they're, they're so that rare. Are, I mean, that's the thing. They but, just but that's on the, the spotlight. Isn't right. It? And that's the that's the good side of that, is yeah. that almost none of the preachers are mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, exactly. It's so, it's so rare. So true. I do have to make a correction to something I said earlier. Yeah. I said oh. I was talking about God's love and we can't love like that, oh. And, oh. which is a true statement. Uh, you're right. However, God's love in us uh, overflows yeah. through us mm-hmm. and yeah. through us. Overflows. It's kind of like a mirror reflecting light. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and that gives us the strength. Yeah. Yes, it does. Anyway, Good. so that's, that's I just awesome, wanted bro. to make that we correction. Need to, we need to be like the moon and reflect the sunlight. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> sunlight. Just joking. There's we are on the moon. <laughs> we are blue. Okay. No. <laughs> With that. <laughs> Sorry. We are the satellite of love. <laughs> 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 Okay. All right. Well, you know what? Here, I do want to mention. The circle is now complete. (laughs) (laughs) Well, this Sunday, before we wrap up, this Sunday Sunday we are going to be in person. Yep. That's the plan. We're going to look weird. We're going to be, but we're going to we're going to give it a go. This is this is helping us warm up into being able to do this even better and better when we're together in person. Mm So this Sunday, Arkansas Elementary School, and I'm looking forward to that. So I wanted to mention that that yeah. is this Sunday, the 21st. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Looking All forward right. to it. Let's go ahead and wrap this thing up, guys. We've been yammering for a long time. Any, yeah. uh, before we do the final words, uh, we do gather every Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, you can always catch us on Facebook. It's Compass Church Colorado. Uh, you can discover more at compassdenver.com, or as we said, this Sunday, you can join us in person at Arkansas Elementary School 10 a.m. We'd love to have you as our guest. All right. Yes. Final words. Love you guys. Uh, love everyone out there as well. Love you. Likewise. Peace, y'all. Grace and peace to you. That's all we have for tonight. And we are out. <laughs> we are out. <laughs> out. Out of time. Out of Numbers are still going, right? We didn't run out of tape.